Eric Moa with Mother.com. We recently saw OSIS make a high around the $95 mark before eventually rolling over. And then we saw this big drop over the last week. What I want to talk about here is I want to show you where this level here became resistance potentially if you take a look at a bigger time frame. In other words, this resistance here or the mid 90s topping out here can be explained if you take a longer term view. For you to see that, let's go from this two year weekly, go to the all data monthly chart. Now I want to show you two lines. Line number one is actually the top side resistance line on this monthly chart. So we can see when the stock was trading in the mid 90s, it came in contact with that line. And from a monthly closing basis, you can see it has gone on to roll over. So that's one view. So that's where we can see the hidden resistance based on resistance on the RSI, which coincides with the price stalling around the 95, lower 90s price range. Now there's also another view, which goes back actually, you can go back to this break. Ever since we had this trend line break late 2012, the stock had come off the highs. And so we can use our uniformity principle which I explain in detail. I'm going to include the links to this method, which is my own method, which I call the uniformity principle here. And all these are also good playlists to take a look if you have an interest in understanding this in more details. And so again, back to the chart, we can figure out where we broke down. Broke down here, which is off those highs we draw our uniformity line. Now, anytime we show uniform action around this line, it means it's a turnaround situation. We can see here rejection on this line, which is giving us off those highs. Uniform activity above the line and back below it, which is also uniformity, which gave us those highs. And we can see here in late 2017, resistance on the same line. So you bring back the prior line, which is the top side resistance. And you can see both lines. Uh, in my opinion, the, read, the hidden reason why the stock stalled around the 90s or the mid 90s. Now, interestingly enough, if you back test the same uniformity line and go backwards in time, you'll see that it makes a lot of sense. Here, we have uniform action below the line and back above it for the support level there. In other words, if you took that as a buy situation, that was a good re-entry before the stock moved higher. We can see uniform action rejection there above the line back below it for those monthly highs before you get a shallow pullback. You got another instant of going above the line and back below it for the highs there before you get this pullback. You got rejection on the same line here in 2004 of those highs before you get this pullback. And again, we got situation here where we drop back below the line. So we drop back below the line there, which is off those highs. And again, uniform action rejection of the highs there before we drift lower. So the same line has been very relevant since the stock was an IPO in the late, late 90s. And we can see the same line is becoming a problem even here, as we can see over the last couple of months, when the stock was trading in the mid to lower 90s. So more on this, there should be links in the description of the video. Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo! Yeah! Boo-boo! Ha-ha! -boo. <laughs> Woo!